Kev, we are at Continental Hair this morning. They do wigs right, and that's what we're doing this morning. We're talking about wigs. I met Dawn first thing this morning. I had no idea that this was a wig. She went through chemotherapy and got her wigs here. This one looks fantastic. I thought it was your real hair. Absolutely not. <laughs> okay, you asked if you could promote an event. We're going to put this on our uh, breakfast television website. It's on February 14th, and what's it called? It's shooting for the Stars Gala. We uh, knew that women like to be spoiled on Valentine's, so the men can spoil their women. All right. Well, we're going to have all the uh, information. And where does the money go? To the Javinsky, the new CIBC Breast Cancer Assessment Center in Sh Hamilton, Ontario. Sh shooting for the Stars Gala .com. We'll put it on breakfasttelevision.ca. I like the red. Kev, what do you think? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we'll see what you have next time, too. Uh, 6.55. We'll be right back. days to come into BT and you know what it makes getting up in the morning that much easier very excited this morning about Jen's live eye you're in an amazing place and I'm loving these looks but can I tell you I really loved the um, the long uh, black hair with the bang as soon as Tracy P and I in makeup saw that we were like that's wow. you baby <laughs> oh yeah that's beautiful well you know what they give you a whole different personality a whole different feel like this one like I'm, I'm freaking out a little bit I feel like I don't know. Somebody who's very neat and organized and together and has all their bills paid. So do you feel like that's not you? Is that what you're trying to say? Totally. Is this you? is not me, but I love it. You should. What you should do is you should um, get the black wig and you should do the alter ego. Because it's sort of like <laughs> Betty and Veronica, like Veronica from Archie. Yes. You had that look, so you're sort of like the sexy, but like, you know, maybe a little mean-spirited, but really, really gorgeous. I love it. Okay, so now that you're talking about it, I'm going to bring it back, okay? So I'll wear back. it later on this morning, since, you know, people like that wig. But yes, Tracy, you know that you've um, featured Continental Hair on City Line, uh, and now we're featuring it on Breakfast Television. Continental Hair is on Avenue Road, 92 and a half Avenue Road, and I think it's been around for like 153 years, something like that. Michael Suba, come on in. How long have you been around? Since 64. My parents started it. And now you are continuing and you do wonderful things for women. A lot of women come here that are going through chemo chemotherapy, uh, women and children with alopecia, uh, women who are thinning. That's right. Uh, you do great things. This is real hair. It's real hair. It's the virgin color. It hasn't been colored or altered. It's just all hand knotted into a beautiful cap. It's, uh, it's a nice piece of work. Okay, we have some women here mm -hmm. uh, that have gone through chemotherapy First of all, I'm going to introduce you to Dawn. Now, I came in first thing this morning, and you were a redhead, and then I turned around, and now you're a blonde. That's correct. <laughs> <laughs> but this is, your, this is really uh, sort of like your natural hair color right here. Correct. Um, I had gone through chemo and radiation. Um, I started my journey almost a year ago. Um, February 8th, I was diagnosed, and February 18th, I had my surgery. I started chemo March till July and then from July till September I did radiation and believe you me if it wasn't for Michael's wigs I would have stayed at home it gave wow. me the confidence um, to turn my story around into a positive which I was allowed to put together a gala and I was able to show my two sons being a single mom that a woman can have courage and you know you can defeat anything so um, I'm really proud of myself you know what we are so proud of you now you went through did you go through six weeks of chemotherapy and now how are you doing I well I went through six sessions of chemotherapy and the radiation and I've had a clean bill of health Yay! thanks okay the gala is on February 14th Valentine's. where is it Valentine's Day where is it the Burlington Convention Center and I'm really really excited the um, support that we're receiving in the community is amazing okay we're gonna have all the information on breakfast television.ca there's gonna be entertainment it's gonna be a real romantic night and the money goes to a good cause where does the money go to the new CIBC breast cancer assessment center in Hamilton Ontario wonderful okay right over here we've got Sarah and I have had no idea that this was a wig until right now. This is a wig. It is, which is a really good thing. Now you you uh, said you went through a lot of different wigs to find the one for you. Yes, unfortunately, my battle began three years ago, and um, as a result, yes, I've had to 
used uh, several different wigs, and by far, this is my favorite because it looks so natural, and I have people that know me very well that had seen me with the wig and didn't realize I was wearing a wig, so I thought that was awesome. And obviously you can style it and curl it because it is yeah. real hair. I know you're a mom of two yeah. small children. That's do you want right. to say hello to your children I do. this morning? Peter and Laura, mommy loves you. <laughs> Peter and who? Laura. 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 That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did. All right, so we'll see you when we come back. Continental hair this morning, and I, I'm going to try on another wig. Kev? Can't wait. All right, thank you, Jennifer. 717 right now. I think it was cool. Yeah. They probably didn't think it was that cool. No. we got to go to Live Eye now. Jen is uh, trying on all these new looks. I've picked out my favorite. What's your favorite so far? I don't know yet. I haven't picked one yet. I like the, the long, dark bang. Very nice. Hey, Jen. Okay, uh, Tracy, this one is not as dark. I think I'm more comfortable with this one. What do you think? No, I still like it. I just think I'm feeling a bang for you. Yeah? yeah? Well, I had bangs for a very long time. I go back and forth to bangs. I grow them out. Bang, like, you know, you want to change it up a little bit. I like and you it. can do is that there, when you is wear there wigs. Is different with her hair? <laughs> oh, God. He's such a man. Yeah, Thanks, it's a little Kev. different. It's okay. a wig. Thanks a lot. Kevin. Oh, okay. Uh, we're at Continental Hair this morning, and we're talking about uh, these wigs and uh, women going through chemotherapy and alopecia. I am here with Julian. Where are you from, Julie? I'm from Newmarket. Uh, but what, what's the... Oh, sorry, the Canadian <laughs> Alopecia Areata Foundation. You were the vice president. Mm -hmm. uh, now, tell me a little bit about alopecia for people that don't know what it is. So alopecia is an autoimmune disease, um, and it's actually... There's three different forms. Um, basically, the most common wording for it is that kids and adults are allergic to their own hair, and their body's fighting their own hair cells. And your hair basically just falls out. It could take... Mm -hmm. A matter of weeks, it could take a couple of days, and all of a sudden, it just happens. Yeah, and there's there's three different forms. One is alopecia areata, which is the patchy hair loss. Then there's alopecia totalis, which Cameron has, and then alopecia universalis, uh, Julia has, which is total hair body loss, including eyebrows and eyelashes. If this happens to you, it can be very traumatic, especially when it happens when you're older. So we're going to put your website on our website because Perfect. you have support groups. Yes, yeah, so we just recently founded the Canadian Alopecia Area Foundation, canaf.org, C-A-N-A-A-F.org, and we are building support groups nationwide. Um, we have some now here in Toronto. It's very successful. But that's because we're based here. But we've just founded some in Vancouver, Edmonton, and we have support in Quebec. How many people in Canada have alopecia? It's about 2% of the population, so we're hitting almost 500,000 Canadians. Wow. Now, Cameron, you started losing your hair when you were in kindergarten? Yeah. Well, I think you look pretty cool, and you, and, and you like your look. Yes, I do. Yeah, and your eyebrows have just recently started to grow back in. Yeah, about a month ago they started. Yeah. Pretty cool. Now, Julia, uh, now you developed this when you were a child. Yep, I was seven years old. And you were en route. You were coming here to Canada from Russia. And yep, yep. It was between, um, I guess, uh, right between Russia and Canada, right in Italy. All my hair fell out in a matter of three months. And what was that like? Um, it was pretty traumatic, but I think it was a culmination of emigration and not learning the language, and it was just a whole bunch of stress all at the same time. So, yeah. You are absolutely stunning. Well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and I know that Michael has really helped out, and your hair is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, you know, you'd never know that this was a wig. We're going to have news uh, right after the break, and when we come back a little bit later, we are going to be chatting with Ashlyn about her friends at school and one very special friend who decided that she wanted to help out when we come back we're taking a break on breakfast television good morning we are back at continental hair they do amazing wigs for women going through chemotherapy or people who have alopecia just like ashlyn here and ashlyn you have something very special for michael what do you have here my friend Kennedy Ward's here to donate for wigs. This is your friend Kennedy. Now, this is what Kennedy looks like now. This is a picture of you and Kennedy. Now, Kennedy's hair was really long, right? Yeah. And why did she decide to do this? Um, to help make wigs for kids. Now, you have a program that helps make wigs for kids, so why don't you give that to Michael? Uh, and how does it work, Michael? Basically, we get hair donations, and we use those to make wigs for children that are undergoing medical hair loss, like alopecia or chemotherapy, mm -hmm. and we give them away to them for free. Wonderful. I love this program. We're going to have all the information on breakfasttelevision.ca if you want to help out. Now, let's talk about when you first uh, got alopecia. How old were you? Uh, five. Five years old. And how old are you now? Nine. Nine years old. And you just you wear different wigs, don't you? 
Yes. Yeah, you look pretty with all your different wigs every day. Uh, now, you've got some friends at school that are watching. What school do you go to? Fairmont Public School. And you got friends watching this morning. You want to say hello to them? Hello. <laughs> they are all watching. They're so excited to see you on TV this morning. You look absolutely gorgeous. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, we're going to go over here and talk to your mom. This is Karen. Now, you have a different kind of alopecia. I do. I have alopecia areata. And what's that? Uh, it's... Um, Basically, it's patches of hair loss. So I have ha eyebrows, I have eyelashes, I have body hair, and I have some hair on my scalp. Um, but I just not a lot, so I wear wigs. You must be very proud of your daughter. I am. She's done very well. She has alopecia totale, or universalis, which means no hair at all. And she's done an incredible, handled her condition very, very well. Now, this, this can be hereditary. Uh, Julia, we were talking about your son has alopecia as well. Yes, yep. he's got it. In the last six months, all his hair pretty much has fallen out. And so. you knew right when you just... Yeah, we knew when he got his first patch at three, and then it grew back in. And uh, now, in the last six months, it's all gone. So. Let's remind people about that website. And you also have something that's coming up? Yes, we're holding our very first um, fundraiser. It's called the Heart and Soul fundraiser and we're raising funds for research to do um, medical uh, it's medical research in U University of BC and um, so that is on February 11th but more information is on our website canf.org and we are going to put your website on yep. our website. And thanks for coming out and Cameron you want to say hi to your friends watching this morning? Hi! <laughs> yes. Pretty cool kid. All right, we'll see you when we come back. Continental hair, and I will try on the wig that Tracy likes in the next segment because she likes the dark one. But I like this one. I love the dark one, but I just love the fact that you're there. It's such an important story. Coming up after the break, we've got news, and then Canada's Got Talent. You're going to get a sneak peek at some auditions, and we want you to vote. That's all coming up on Breakfast Television. Thank you so much, Graham. All right, let's go over to uh, to Jen, who is at the Live Eye. She's at Continental Hair. Ooh. I know. Good stuff. Yes, Tracy, I put the one that you liked back on because you like this one so much. I kind of like this one, too. This is my fave. Uh, I actually just put it on Facebook. This is Seven. What an unusual name. That's just wonderful. Your parents named you Seven. It's my stylist name. Oh, it's your stylist name. Oh, I like it. I thought my son's middle name should be Seven because he was turned seven on the seventh month, the it seventh would have been year, perfect. seventh day. Yeah, yeah, it would have been perfect, but no. Uh, okay, we have Lisa here. Now, Le Lisa, you have alopecia, and we're at Continental Hair because Continental Hair deals with women going through uh, this type of thing with alopecia yeah. and with um, when they're going through chemotherapy. Mm -hmm. and and how many different wigs do you have? Um, about four. Four. We're going to try one on right now. Are we not seven? Mm -hmm. Yes, we are. Okay, so she can go from a beautiful brunette with some gorgeous highlights to da, 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 a redhead in seconds. And this is what's, it's kind of neat that you can walk out with different hairstyles and, and different colors. And there you are. Absolutely gorgeous. Adorable. Okay, we have another Lisa here, and Lisa is getting some hair extensions. You always come here for hair extensions? I do. Yeah, they look good. Now, I got my hair extensions done here years ago. Oh, and yeah, years and years ago, we went right down to my waist. Remember that, Michael? <laughs> I got a lot of comments from that. And Jackie, how long does it take to do these hair extensions? Um, depends on the amount of hair that's going into in each individual head, but it takes a good four hours to do a full head of hair extensions. Okay, Lisa, relax. We'll get you tea. <laughs> uh, is it Ivana? Yes, that's right. And what do, you, what do you have done right now? Um, I'm actually wearing a integration piece. So right Ooh. now it's partially attached, so it's not actually stuck on with clips like some of the other pieces Michael sells, but... Uh, this is um, kind of attached onto my head, and we have people coming in basically once a month to have it reattached and uh, fixed up. Yeah, and this is great, Richard, for people who are just losing a little bit of their hair. Yes, they're yeah. thinning usually on top, and it's a good solution. All yeah. right, I'm, I'm going to go over here to Danielle before we go back to the station. Uh, Danielle, you, I was so shocked. This, I'm so shocked that people are wearing wigs because if I didn't know, I would think it was just your natural hair. Now, you come all the way from New Jersey to get this Yes, done. I do. Uh, now, this looks real to me. It is real. Oh, it is. <laughs> it is because it's real hair, but this is fantastic. Yeah. So you're a big promoter of Michael and Absolutely. Continental Hair. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, I have, uh, well, my hair thins here and there because of a thyroid condition that I have. So sometimes I have it, sometimes I don't. But it's easier for me just to wear a full piece just because it covers it all at once and... 
That's how I like it. And his, he's, uh, we call him the hair god for a reason. There he is. He's the hair god. Ladies and gentlemen, Michael, give it up for Michael. Come see him at Continental Hair. He also has a location at Sunnybrook Hospital, an amazing hospital. You've been there for such a long time. Thank you so much, Michael. We're going to head back to the station, and we'll see you tomorrow.